Hey everybody, it's day, it's day 27, 28. <laughs> we'll call it day 27. Yesterday I never got around to making a video and uh, I wanted to, you know, do the last, you know, however many days with videos. So um, day 27 um, of interesting point of view challenge. So I, um, it's interesting because these, like there's, there's not, I think probably why I didn't make a video yesterday is because there's not a lot of words at this point. Um, in my world, at least, um, there's so much space and so much relaxation from playing with this tool. And, um, one of the things that, um, you know, I've mentioned this many times here in this challenge, but that thing of, you know, how I basically created it because I wanted to have a different uh, experience in a way. I wanted to give myself a different choice with what's going on in the world right now. And um, it really has done that for me. And I was just thinking this morning, you know, sometimes we get really, um, you know, when we get upset about anything, um, it's actually because you're going into the future. Um, or you might also be, you know, kind of obsessing about the past, um, either one. A lot of people um, kind of hang out in their past. Um, and access has been such a gift for me to recognize that the past is just gone. It's done. It's bye-bye. It's, it's over, you know? And now what? Now what is one of my favorite questions. Um, <clears throat> and But I think what's happening a lot these days is this sort of worry about the future and where are things going in the world and with government controls and all this kind of stuff. And, and, um, you know, the thing the as I've said before, interesting point of view as one of the 10 keys to freedom and access consciousness, it really sort of like begets the other keys. It, it, all of the keys play into the other keys and expand the other keys and give room and space for us to be those other keys, like living as the question and choosing in 10 second increments. And, and so if we look at, you know, how, how do you, how is it, how are you better able to live in 10 second increments, basically be really present, um, when you are being interesting point of view? Um, well, you can rec like from what's been showing up for me is just really recognizing that anything that kind of trips me up in my world is is uh, future stuff, you know, is like worrying about the future or thinking about the future or the what ifs, you know, and um, we're so trained to live like that. Um, there's this like PTSD universe that this reality is that's like constantly avoiding and averting um, disaster, you know, or trauma, drama, upset, you know, and, um, and we're always oriented to that. And our neurology, like our nervous systems are actually like amped up and geared up. Um, as like for, for most people walking the planet, there's some level of like neurological activation in our bodies, um, around this, the PTSD universe of when's the other shoe going to drop? You know, what's going to happen? What could happen? I need to be prepared. I need to avoid the disaster of the potential disaster of the future. Um, and it, for most people in most moments, um, and you know, some people are in really tough situations right now, which of course is a great time to be interesting point of view and use that tool because it gives you space now. Um, but, but one of the things that I've been really realizing is we, we talk so much about creating a different reality rather than trying to fight or change the reality that like this reality. And, um, and as I look at that whole world, it's like, wow, you know, I can, I am creating a different reality right here, right now by just being present, you know, by being really present and using the tool of iPod to stay present. It's not about not thinking about the future or being, it's really, it's not about thinking about the future, but it's, it's not about not being aware of the future, but as we be right here and we enjoy what's going on right now and we create thriving and living and all of that right now, we are creating a future. We're creating a different future that has never existed before. So just want to invite you guys to play with that. Like what's, 
what's happening now? What's going on right now? What could you choose right now as the space of interesting point of view that allows you, that, that is actually the creation of a totally different future for you and for the world? And um, what if it wasn't about trying to figure out what could happen and avoid it, but actually creating something that's never existed before from an as interesting point of view, the 10 second increments of choice and the joy of living.